I'm on him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please stay away from these logs. Please stay away. Don't go in those logs. Please don't go in those logs. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. So close. Yes! Let's go! So we're heading down to the Davidson today, and not only just any section of the Davidson, I'm going to the hatchery stretch of the Davidson, probably one of the most fish stretches in Asheville, probably North Carolina, maybe even the Southeast, honestly. I mean, this section gets hammered by guys. Because of that, the trout here have gotten super selective about what they'll take. So I have tied up my best little Mitchlet impersonations. I've been working on these things for like a month. Um, just kind of tweaking the recipe as I have come here and had some success and some failure and Today I'm gonna take you with me and see if any of these little patterns that I've been whipping up on the vice are worth anything Or if I'm just gonna throw them in the garbage. So let's go and check it out Packed parking lot as always. This is a Wednesday too. Keep in mind, it's insane. All right, let's get something tied on here, and I'm gonna do first cast right there. Oh, crap, missed him. There we go. Got him. Yes. All right, first one on the board. Sick. All right, come here, buddy. Put you in the basket. Sweet. First fish. Little rainbow. Be free. There it is. Tiny guy. guys there is a massive brown trout right down here I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro right now um, I've cast at him for a little bit and he has not made any moves to eat anything I'm gonna switch over to my five weeks I've been throwing my two weight at him which is a really bad idea and see if I can't get him to to try something all right right here okay that's coming right into him right now Nothing. Nothing. You didn't even look at that. Alright. Come on, dude. Just eat it already. This is like right on him right now. There he is. There he is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright. There he is. Got him. Alright. I'm on him. I'm on him here. Oh my goodness, this is a huge fish. All right, that is a way bigger brown trout than I actually thought it was. Okay, all right. Please don't go into that log. Please don't go into that log. Come on, there we go. No, don't come back here. Do not come back by this log. All right, he's going down. I Crap. Crap, I can't stop him. Come on. Oh, 
crap, I'm gonna like think of a blow up this guy's hole. Yeah, I'm sorry to blow up your hole here. Ugh. Hope he doesn't get underneath that log. It's on a Don't take 22 it back. hook. Back Come on, yes, yes, there we go, got him, yes. Look at that, that's what I got him on right there. Yeah, 22. unbelievable. Yeah, it's real small. I think so. What did you catch in there? Real tiny little Tiny little, little midge. is racing after that saw this guy sitting here is big brown I could obviously tell that and he was not moving just every once in a while I just barely opened that mouth and uh, I put a tiny midge on size 22 I had 5x on just cast and cast and cast I probably cast a hundred times plus and he wasn't doing anything I mean he wasn't moving he was not moving side to side just every once in a while just that mouth and finally indicator bloop, went down just an inch i set the hook and i was tied on him and he took me so far downstream i mean he took me i don't know 150 200 yards downstream i blew up three other guys spots i mean i like went right through where they were fishing uh, they tried to help me had to keep going eventually finally in the tail out of this pool is just super shallow he couldn't get much power and i was able to get a net on him um, absolutely crazy put it on the tape and I think it came up around 24 one guy was saying he said he thought it was 25 but I think it was around 24 about two feet which is it's a toad I mean that that's a toad so he is now back in here for someone else to catch um, but I'm gonna keep fishing here that's that is insane So I just headed a little ways upstream here and I found this trout. You can see he's right next to that stream of water there. It's a pretty decent sized brown and he's just moving back and forth. I'm gonna try this little hair's ear on here, see if this works. Alright, let's tie this on. I'm just putting it right in front of his face here. Come on, dude. There he is. Oh, man. All right. Holy crap. That fish is charged up. Yeah, baby. Oh, he's going way down. Okay. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Look at this thing. All right. That's a good brown right there. Look at that. Right, 20 inches. All right, go home, be free. Peace. All right, guys. Well, I'm heading out now. Um, that's the end of the day here. Wrapped it up. I think I caught, I don't know, a dozen or so fish total. Um, the one that was. 23 24 somewhere in that range which is insane beautiful brown trout just nice kipe jaw good orange colors on them and also caught another that was about 20 so um all in all that's a a killer day out here on this stream i will definitely not complain about that but great day overall glad this finally worked out to get a little filming a little fishing in and hopefully i got some more coming for you pretty soon here a lot of stuff in the works the big thing that's happening here if you are interested in learning i know i'm i'm not going to claim to be the absolute best fisherman 
there has ever been but i'm currently working on writing a book it's pretty far along i've been working on it for a couple of years honestly it got put a little bit on the back burner with when i moved to north carolina it is really based off of the six years of guiding that I did out in Colorado, out at Vista Verde Guest Ranch, and really just took everything I had learned out there to try to create a system that really is gonna work, I would say 90% of the time to, to catch trout. So the book is called Catching Trout in Any Conditions. It is really supposed to be for that, that person who, they know how to get all their gear set up, right? You know how to, to tie the flies on and do the indicators, and you're catching fish sometimes, but you just aren't getting it dialed in every single time you're out there. You feel like maybe only half the time you're really catching and you know that you could be doing a lot better. Seems like, you know, other guys are catching most of the time you're out and you can't really figure out what that, that secret ingredient is. So um, if you really want to take it to the next level, if you want to really just figure out how to catch pretty much most times, I would say 90% of the time that you're on the water, then this book is for you. I think you will really benefit from it and you will really hopefully enjoy it. I, I tried to make it a little bit fun too. There's some some stuff in there to uh, try to spice it up a little bit, not just be like a straight textbook on how to do things. So check it out. I will keep you guys posted on when that is going to actually drop. It should be this year, probably later this year, um, hopefully sometime this summer, but very well might be later this fall. So thanks again for following along. I really appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate the support. I'm not really doing this to try to make it into some sort of being a fishing YouTuber or anything like that. I honestly, I just really enjoy kind of the film aspect of going out and fishing and recording it for my friends to see, for me to be able to look back and see some of these trips as well. Um, but it's, it's awesome to see that other people like it as well. So if you are liking this, you know, hit a subscribe button there and let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks again for watching. Peace.